ladies and gentlemen, Ron Jeremy is a lot more being revealed about this man. He lived in complete filth, a nasty roach infested apartment in LA. This is one of the accusers saying, um, when she went inside of his apartment, it was disgusting. Well, come on, you know, let's face it. Ron Jeremy was the ugliest man in porn. And y'all know it. This man is ugly. He was ugly when he was in porn. <laughs> come on. He's the ugliest man in porn. So now I want y'all to see how he was living and what the inside of his apartment looked like. This came out in the Daily Mail, August 20th, 2020. Damn. <laughs> Is he kidding me? Oh my goodness. That looks horrible. Man, I guess porn just didn't pay. <laughs> Woo. Instead of living high on the hog, he living like the hog. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Are those a bunch of cans of bug spray up there? Oh, well, they said the roaches were everywhere. You know, I believe it. Just looking at the condition that place was in, he lived like this. This is the filthy roach infested Hollywood apartment of accused serial rapist and former porn star Ron Jeremy, a woman who met Jeremy 67 in 2017, said she went to his rundown one bedroom apartment to use the bathroom and was so shocked by what she saw, she began snapping pictures. <laughs> Woo, Ron Jeremy, man. Mm -mm -mm. There was trash piled up, old porn memorabilia, stuff was overflowing boxes. His kitchen table looked like an unkept outside porch. There were plants that were grown around the table legs and onto the floor. I honestly thought he was on the show hoarders. <laughs> I sure looked that way, don't it? Damn. There were cans of roach spray left on the side piles of medication, books, DVDs, paperwork, and he had pet turtles. Ooh, I bet you those pet turtles were lost every day. <laughs> they were saying, I know this ain't my home. He should have just set them turtles free. Photos obtained by the DailyMail.com shows Jeremy's lounge filled with dozens of boxes while the kitchen sides were filled with paperwork, used candles, and empty bottles. Well, shit, did he have electricity? One corner of the apartment, which is in a high-rise block called Franklin Towers, is seen filled with medication and discard pill bottles and prescriptions with his real name, Ron J. Hyatt, written on them. There's barely enough room to move around in the apartment due to the junk left on the floor, which is black with dirt. Ew. The carpet in the lounge looks like um, as old as Jeremy's early porn movies <laughs> and the walls were not much cleaner. The woman, a blonde New Yorker in her late 30s, worked as a flight attendant for a private jet firm and was in Los Angeles on a work trip. She said she bumped into Jeremy 
outside of a store along the famous uh, Sunset Strip where he was being filmed. It was during the day and I saw him outside the store. He had a camera guy with him and was being filmed. And we started talking. Later, he said the guy was his driver, but I quickly uh, worked out it was someone he was hanging out with. Then I realized the camera they were carrying around didn't work. It was a fake and all a ruse to meet women. Damn. Damn, Jeremy. I guess that's the outside of the apartment. The woman gave DailyMail.com two photos of her with the famous porn star who has appeared in more than 2,000 adult movies. Mm-mm-mm. Did all the movies and look at how he's living. One photo appears to be um, Jeremy attempting to grope the woman's breasts as they sat in her car. While in another shot, Jeremy, nicknamed the Hedgehog, is seen with the woman holding the fake video camera. The woman said that after meeting Jeremy, he invited her to have a drink with him and having nothing really else to do, she accepted. I thought, it's Ron Jeremy. I figure it would be fun. He said he had to pick up something from his apartment and I went with him. He asked me to stay in the lobby, but he was gone a while and I needed the bathroom. So I called him and he came down to bring me up. Yeah. Oh yeah. There, there's the picture with her holding the fake camera with them. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I think he was a little embarrassed at me seeing the state of his apartment. I was so shocked. I couldn't open the front door. I didn't even use the bathroom because it was so bad. You couldn't get to it. Damn. Really? Mm-mm-mm. So... In his bedroom, there was a queen-size mattress on the floor. with It had no covers on it. The room was probably the most clean <laughs> out of the apartment, out of the whole apartment. The woman claims Jeremy aggressively came on to her while she was in his apartment. He said, come check the view on the porch. He came from behind and came on pretty aggressively. And I was like, back off. It was unwanted, but I could handle it. I'm no um, gilded lily. Mm -mm -mm. So she said it was the night of September 1st, 2017. Jeremy invited the flight attendant to a Netflix premiere of season three of TV crime drama Narcos at Paramount Studios. I went along and remember meeting some of the cast and we were hanging out with a couple of guys he knew, she recalled. It was fun. But at some point in the evening, I told him I was getting a glass of wine and decided to leave. I really didn't want to get into another situation with him. The woman showed the Daily Mail a text message. So this must be the text message she was talking about. And he wrote it at 11.15 p.m. Where are you? You didn't say goodbye. To anyone, call me, R. Jeremy. The next day, I was getting a plane ready to go back to New York, and he was ringing me off the hook, she recalls. He was so angry that I took off without saying goodbye. He was enraged, 
it was really unsettling how angry he got. The woman says she isn't surprised about the allegations against Jeremy because of he, you know, he was so sexually aggressive with her and tried to grope her in her car. In June, Jeremy, who was in custody awaiting trial, is charged with raping three women and sexually assaulting another. Damn. I don't care, y'all. This man was the ugliest man in porn. He was. He was <laughs> wow. Terrible to look at. Okay. So the Los Angeles County District Attorney, Jackie Lacey, said the adult movie star 67 accused of forcibly raping a 25-year-old woman at a home in West Hollywood in May 2014. He then allegedly sexually assaulted two more women, ages 33 and 46, on separate occasions at a West Hollywood bar in 2017. The porn star full name, Ronald Jeremy Hyatt, is also accused of forcibly raping a 30-year-old woman at the same bar in July 2019. He faces a possible maximum sentence of 90 years, which if he's 67, that's a life sentence. To life in state prison if, he, if convicted. Okay, in a tweet, the porn star said, I am innocent of all charges. I can't wait to prove my innocence in court. Thank you to everyone for all the support. The number of women had already alleged a 40-year-old porn veteran groped her without their consent. That led to Jeremy being banned from most adult industry high-profile events. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I'm just looking at, is that a dog collar hanging there? Weird. Maybe that's for the roaches. <laughs> okay. Damn. Yeah, it looks like that's hot shot. Roach killer, probably. Oh, man. How the hell do you want somebody to come in that apartment? Wow. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Oh, Ron Jeremy. Don't look like he's going to get out of this one. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Boy, y'all better hide the fact that Ron Jeremy was in this apartment. And it looked like <laughs> you may have a hard time selling this apartment to anybody at this point. Wow. Man, you got to tear that whole place apart. Bring a big old trash truck for all this garbage. Mm -mm -mm. Peace, family.